What are you doing? You're adding salt to milk? Yeah. Uh, so, well, okay. You should see what we're making first. Okay, well, we're making cheese. Today we're making cheese, ricotta cheese. Yeah, I'm super excited because I've never done this before. But it should be fun. But anyways, probably the most important part of this, I think, um, is that you wanna make sure that your milk is just pasteurized, not ultra pasteurized, because otherwise it might not work, I guess. All right. Who knew that there's such thing as ultra pasteurized? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna get organic milk, but most of the organic milks were ultra pasteurized, so I just got regular store mm -hmm. brand milk. So apparently you have to add salt to this milk. Mm-hmm. So, and that's kind of it. Now we just have to heat it on medium no high. No way. It's two ingredients, milk and salt. No, well, okay, we heat it to 185 with the salt and milk, that's it. And then afterwards we add in a little bit of lemon juice and vinegar, that's it. Seems disgusting. This is something that haley has been talking about doing for years. All we did was heat it up to 185. Now we add two acids. We add a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of lemon juice. The smell of vinegar always makes me think of dying Easter eggs. Easter eggs can't die because they're not alive. Ha ha ha! It's so funny. It's gonna clump up. So you mix it just enough for the lemon juice and vinegar to work its way in. Look at that! So you're gonna take this lump of goo, squish it into this little net, and then you got cheese. Yeah, because we while it's sitting here, it's gonna form the curds, and then the cheesecloth streams it out, so you're just left with the curds and not the whey. And what makes it not cottage cheese? How do you know it's ricotta cheese? You know, I was wondering that too. Wait a second, ricotta cheese, cotta, cottage, <gasps> cottage cheese. Does it look milky or does it look translucent yellow? That's translucent yellow to me. All right, so now all that's left, we're gonna pour it into, we have, um, I showed them already. Oh, okay. Then never mind. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. So that's it for minimum eight minutes, maximum 12, I think. Hey, my ricotta cheese, I'm so happy. So now we're just gonna put it in a Tupperware and put it in the refrigerator. And then we save this and we get to eat this later too. Yes, it is. It's gross. Well, okay, but this, can you vouch that this is actually good? <laughs> yeah, this is really good. <laughs> mm. So that's a super simple recipe on how to make ricotta cheese. Yeah. From scratch, very simple, maybe 20 minutes tops. Next week, Maybe we'll put that cheese on a pasta with red sauce recipe that we'll be making for that video. That sounds great. So who knows? That'll be good. Any last words? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, you couldn't even say comment or like, um, uh... No, you put me on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Look, this is Alex back in town. It's my fantastic home. Welcome to my home. I feel like you're abnormally tall right now. I'm wearing Tom, but I should be as close to the ground as I can be. Thank you for watching my video. I have had a hard time with my camera and could not get more footage for today's video. Don't let that get you down, homie.